Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and there is an oncoming storm. What in the hell? There are some meteor heads, and that of course means a meteor has fallen nearby, and it's a very dangerous place. It's right here. <laughs> oh my god. Of all the places it could have fallen in the world, it decided to destroy half of my tree farm. So, uh, you know, that's a thing. That is indeed a thing. This is probably the closest to a house destroying meteor I've ever had. And as such, I will mine it like a man. Here we go. Lay it on, man. Such a quick way of doing things. I do it. Oh, hey, I got, a, I got a banner from that. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Look at all this stuff. Wow. I just mined 88 bits of meteor in like a few seconds flat. That's not bad at all, right? Okay, so what we're going to do really quick is we're going to mine this up because, uh, you know, having a meteor right to forge the house kind of sucks a lot. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. Hi. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. My knight's edge will absolutely murder you. So why are you even trying? Why are you trying this, bro? Oh my god. Here we go. One here. One here. And we shall have one here and one right here. Okay. Is that going to be enough? No? I don't think it's going to be enough. All right. We're going to have to mine the rest by hand because we have no more bombs. Well, honors anyway. There might be some in our, in our house, but uh, as far as... Now is concerned. I don't really have any, so uh, <laughs> yay! Mining more freaking meteorite because the world hates me. <laughs> I can't believe a meteor landed here. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right, okay. Uh, we've got the main body of the meteorite gone, but apparently this is still classed as meteor because there's more than 50 bits of meteorite remaining. All right, that should change any second. There we go. It has changed. Hey, hey, okay, this is no longer a meteor. This is now classed as a regular biome. But, uh, you know, that, that still happened. So that's great. So, in this episode, <laughs> that was quite the start. What I would like to do in this episode is prepare my world even more for hard mode. I've been looking up on the wiki, and apparently the uh, corruption can spread background walls. They can spread two background walls in hard mode, and as such, I'm pretty sure there's dirt background walls behind the sandstone. So what I'm going to need to do at some point is mine it all out, uh, either leave it blank or use a background wall that cannot be sort of overcome with corruption. And that's the same with the jungle, actually, because the jungle will be able to convert dirt blocks into mud blocks and therefore into jungle blocks. So, uh, you know, i got a lot of things that I need to do right now. Like, really, I do. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Look at all the stuff we got in here. My little jungle plantation. It's pretty damn awesome. Right, so since the last episode, what I did is I went down my elevator into hell. I've actually managed to explore uh, sort of in the middle here. So both of these places now connect. And as you can see, what I have done is I have made a massive pathway, which is fantastic because it will mean that we should be able to defeat the wall of flesh in this episode. That is the goal. There is a locked shadow chest down there. So... Once we're ready to do this, we can go down there, see what's in the shadow chest, pick it up, and then try to defeat the wall of flesh. So that would be absolutely fantastic. So, 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 what do we have? We have musket balls, we have meteor shots. Hmm, pretty damn cool. Vile mushrooms, and of course, we've got our potion ingredients. Okay, let's just stack these up really quick. There we go. We've got so many vile mushrooms now, it's actually ridiculous. And of course, we've got our voodoo doll, uh, healing potions, and all of our stuff that we made in the last episode, which is all good right there. So, 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 which blocks can we use that won't be overcome with corruption or jungle? What can we use to try and block off the spread? See, what I'm thinking right now is snow. Snow does not become corrupted. Ice becomes corrupted, or hallowed, or whatever it is it may be, but uh, snow blocks themselves do not. So what I'm thinking is going over to the snow biome that we have in this world, using my bombs, and uh, you know, getting a bunch of blocks that way. Because then we will be able to go ahead and sort of, once again, block off the corruption spread, or jungle spread, or whatever it may be. So yes, I shall meet you back when we are in the snow biome. Alrighty guys, we're now in the snow biome, and of course this is the corrupted part, so what I would like to do is I want to get to the non-corrupted part of the, uh, of the corruption. Alright, hello! It's gonna get dark, I apologise, and I actually don't have any torches. 
I've got six torches. Oh my god, I'm so rich right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Right, here we go. I believe this is the end of the corrupted part. I think it is anyway. Is it? Yep, it is. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, I guess without further ado, time to desecrate, dominate, and detonate and such. There we go. Oh, maybe. We're going to get loads of snow blocks doing this. Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. Right, here we go. Uh, should I just bomb the crap out of this place? I think I should. It would be fun. Hello. And obviously all these dudes are going to fall down into my bomb trap. And hopefully I don't get caught in my own bomb trap either. That'd be pretty embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yes. All right. Okay, here we go. Bomb the crap out of this place. Dun, 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. There you go. <laughs> 92 snow blocks. We're going to need quite a hell of a lot if we're going to make it a, uh, a three block thick wall. Because I say three blocks thick because it needs to be. Because apparently the corruption can spread anything up to three blocks apart from another block. So for example, if you have a non-corrupted piece of grass and then a corrupted piece of grass with within two blocks, that will still become corrupted. So, uh, yeah. That's a thing. Okay, here we go. Let's just go ahead and uh, <laughs> even out the detonation so, you know, the land doesn't look too crappy. Here we go. Hey, you're going to get bombed. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> what a fool. Oh, my God. Look at all this. Oh, my God. The amount of snow blocks we're about to get right here. Woohoo! It's going to be insane. 100. Okay. That's 200. That's 300. That's that's nearly 400. Okay, we just got 517 snow blocks from that. Look at the amount we got now. 772. Holy God! <laughs> that's a damn load right there. Holy crap. Right, okay, uh, let me just uh, make this landscape not look like crap. Just so we can navigate through it a little bit easier once we get through to this part again. Here we go. Right, snow blocks. 780 of the damn things. Let's just place them down right there. Let's go home. Okay, right now what we need to try and figure out is where are we going to put the snow wall? Because snow walls are very very useful indeed. Okay, right, so here's what I'm thinking. Here is what I am thinking. Because the jungle is literally over there, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put these... I'm gonna put the wall here. Okay, I'm gonna put the snow wall here and obviously it's gonna need to go underground So that's something we're, not, we're gonna have to contend with and again We can't really use bombs because otherwise it would destroy my house. This is so slow. Holy crap Is it me? Or oh look at all these dudes. Yep, he's dead. They're, they're all dead. All them fireflies. No fireflies allowed. How dare you spawn. All right. Oh, sorry buddy. Sorry. That's how it works, buddy. Right, okay. Okay, right, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am trying to get, that's right, I'm going to get my Nightmare Pickaxe back out. Because, funnily enough, I'm pretty sure it mines single blocks quicker than the Molten Pickaxe, which is really weird considering the uh, percentage difference. So if we just go over here really quick, do a bit of myth busting. So, that was pretty slow. See, look, this is so much quicker. I have no idea why this should be the case, but... It just is. <laughs> it just is the case, and it's kind of stupid. Right, here we go. We need to figure out how deep we need to go, because, of course, we still need to have some regular grass on the surface. So what I'm thinking is we should keep it, uh, I'd say, about six blocks down. So I'd say starting here. Okay. I think this should work. This should work. There should be no reason for this not to work. Right, okay. This is going to be a bit of a butt. Okay, uh, this is seven blocks down, isn't it? Because if you include the grass... Then, uh, then we don't really want the snow visible, do we? Because if the snow was visible, it would look really stupid. Oh my god, I'm trying to... I'm doing exterior design on my Terraria world. What is this? No one ever does exterior design. <laughs> or landscaping, whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> okay, but it turns out we are. So, you know, get, get used to it for a little while, I guess. Don't worry, guys. The aim of the episode is still to defeat the Wall of Flesh, but we will do it at the end of the episode, just as a little, uh, little teaser, you know, make you, make you wait, build up the anticipation, if you will. So, uh, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip ahead, which I'm pretty sure you guys have been wanting me to do for a long time. So, I'm going to skip ahead to when I have this wall done, and I shall see you guys back in a second.
Alrighty guys, I'm just about back and I'm actually finishing off the old uh, renovations around my area Of which I have done many. Uh, it's been about 40 minutes since the last cut Which means I have been recording for near as damn it an hour now <laughs> and uh, you know I think I think the hard work will very much pay off because what I'm doing is a lot of things and I shall show you when we get back there But as you can see I need to gather up a little bit more snow so I can get my snow wall going properly so let's just grab this really quick. There we go. 142 seems like a legit amount. Right, okay. So, let's go ahead and show you what is going on. So, starting off down here, as you can see, my snow wall is actually going. It's pretty damn cool. It's fairly low down, so hopefully nothing should spread above the snow points, which is pretty cool. And you may notice there is no longer a background wall to the jungle room. And also, what I have done is there is absolutely no background walls behind the sandstone bricks either. And that's the same on this side, which then of course means the corruption and jungle have absolutely no way of spreading at all outside of these rooms. So, at least, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully that is the case. So, uh, you know, that's all good right there. But as you can see on the map, you can actually see the snow line underneath the entire terrain. And what this should hopefully do is completely stop the spread of corruption and jungle. Again. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my god. So, okay guys. Okay. I promised you a wall of flesh battle, my friends. And guess what I'm about to do? It's time to go and defeat the wall of flesh because I reckon this world is now hard mode ready which is pretty cool and one thing that actually happened is you may have seen just as I cut back in there uh, the party girl arrived somewhere not entirely sure and also the traveling merchant is there let's go and see what he's selling hmm, maybe he's selling the katana I love the katana but again pretty good at sort of sort of early game crimson cloak a vanity item bricklayer a sake what the hell is a sake I have no idea more pad thai not really useful. Right, okay, so what we're going to do really quick is we are going to relocate the party girl in the sandstone house over here so she can live with the old man because you all know that the old man likes to have a good party now and then. Wait, hold on a sec, I've just realised something. There's jungle here. Hmm. Hmm. I know in hard mode you can get this one thing called the Clentaminator and basically what that does is you can spread an entire biome within a few seconds so you know we could transfer it into a hallow or whatever the hell we want so as you can see we are going down our elevator down to hell we're gonna go to where the shadow chest is see what is inside it and then it is battle time ladies and gentlemen it will be battle time and I've got good feelings about this one. I reckon we can defeat him really easily. I mean, you know, it's not as if we don't have a lot of defense. We've got 37. We have Spectre Boots. We've got Magic Cuffs. We've got Obsidian Shields. Cloud and Bottles. Oh, here we go. Here we go, buddies. We're going to get this thing rolling. And I've got a bunch more torches now. Oh, crap. I'm going to drop them all because I'm a noob. All right, here we go. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end of where I decided to sort of stop placing blocks, which is actually where the shadow chest is, as I was saying. Right, hold on, uh, there's a dude coming. Let me just kill him really quick. There we go, nice and quick, baby, nice and quick. There we go, I like that. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Oh, hey, buddy, what the hell? What's up with that? Here we go. I've tried to make it Wall of Flesh battle friendly. I mean, of course, there's no houses at all, so we haven't exactly got that to worry about. Hold on, let me just defeat him. There we go. We still haven't got a Demon Scythe yet, so unfortunately, you know, we don't have it. So, yeah. Here we go. More torches so you can see the battle. Here we go. Okay, go down here and carry on along this little bridge right here. And we are just about there. Hello, Mr. Shadow Chest. What have you got inside you? You have a superior flame lash. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me just defeat these dudes really quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We want to do this thing properly. <sighs> and also, Stampy Longhead, if you ever decide to watch any of these videos, then, uh, you know, this is the way you should defeat the Wall of Flesh. Are you ready? Because I sure am. Here we go. Go on, then, buddy. The Wall of Flesh has awoken. Right, so what you need to do is start off with a very powerful sword. In this case, we're going to be using the Knight's Edge, of course. And what you need to do is defeat the crap out of these little hungry eater dudes. There we go. Look at this. Absolutely killing them. Murdering the crap out of them. Let's just have a bit of health. Obviously, health potions are very, very useful. But as you can see, it's a very effective way of doing things. It just is, let's be honest. Okay, and then we can switch to a gun. And then we can absolutely start kicking the crap out of this dude. And there's more eaters up there, but we couldn't really reach them at any point, so that's a thing. 
Alright, so, uh, yeah, this is this is basically it. You have to kill him with the gun for the remainder of the entire fight. Right. I mean, this shouldn't be too hard, right? I'll tell you what, let's switch to this. There we go. Much more damage per hit. And uh, let's get rid of these. There we go. We haven't even got any blooming buffs going. That's how confident I am in defeating this dude. There we go. 5,700. Okay, 5,400. 5,300. Kill this dude. Because he's going to blind me otherwise. There we go. Thank you very much. This is, uh, I'm not even making an effort here. You know, 4,000 health gotten down to half health. <laughs> all you got to do, that is literally all you got to do. you got to absolutely kick the crap out of those little eater dudes at the start of the fight. And then, once you've done that, you can just, you know, just do this. You know, Phoenix Blaster, Mini Shark, both of them do the job pretty well. But I'm pretty sure the Phoenix Blaster is doing a slightly better job. Because, you know, he's almost dead now. And the guy just arrived. Great! Okay, there we go. Down to less than a thousand health. Okie dokie. Almost there. 300, 200, 100, and he's dead. Huh. That was easy. Well, what did we get this time? Uh, a pwn hammer or a ranger emblem. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Right. Okay. Oh, God. Guys, if our place has already been covered with corruption, I'm going to be so peed off. You've got no idea how much. Pe how much of peed off I will be. Okay, here we go. Magic mirror. Has our place stayed the same? Here we go! Has it stayed the same? I think it has! My place has stayed the same! It hasn't been overcome with anything! Oh, it's so good! Oh, you have no idea how relieved I am right now. Okay, so where have things spread to? Let's have a look really quick, shall we? Oh, we've got the hallow over here. It's not a very big hallow, is it? That's the tiniest hallow I think I've ever seen in my life. Right, okay, and then we have the corruption, obviously, over this side of the map, so that's pretty cool, I guess. But ladies and gentlemen, we have just defeated the Wall of Flesh, and we are in hard mode as a result of it. And apparently this is classed as a snow biome because of all the snow we got going. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course, if you want to see more, I mean, why would you not want to see more? We're going to be in hard mode. <laughs> Get some things done. If you did enjoy the episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out, my friends. But for now, it is time for me to head off. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, thanks for your continued support. <laughs> I shall see you guys next time.